Hey everybody, it's your boy Exo Man. Wait, cut. Hey everyone, it's Exo Man, and today I'm working on a little project that might inspire you, so I'm going to share it with you. Uh, down here under my house, I have lighting. It's really cool to have lighting. Lighting's important. Wait, where are they? Well, there's a few of these. There's one. There's one back there. There's, there's about four or five of them. It's not enough. I need more, but it's a good start. Anyway, this is what I've had for a switch. Are you familiar with these? This is a kind of thing that controls, well, one of these. This goes inside of the box here, right? And then this goes over it to protect it from the weather. It's just a switch switch, if you will. But what I am doing is I don't like reminding my wife to turn the lights off when she comes home or me turn the lights off at nighttime. Uh-oh, what was that? Oh, that's my, that's my idiot stick beeping at me. So, first things first, we turn the power off and we double check, we've got no power, see? But what I'm doing today is I'm putting, I'm installing a, uh, I'm installing a timer switch, which is this thing here. These are these are not easy to find. You don't find these in a lot of stores. I ordered this online, and uh, I'm very happy to have it. It is not an outdoor appliance, so what I'm going to do is put it inside of a box somewhat like this here uh, and I want to show you how to how to do this I've turned the power off and then I've identified this as a hot wire okay obviously this white one is my neutral okay here's my ground it's the bare copper and this is my load so in this appliance, the white goes to the white, that's your neutral, and the black goes to your hot, and the uh, red goes to the load. All right, ground to ground. Very, very simple. And how have I, how am I doing this safely, and how have I identified this? It's pretty simple. Again, turn the power off. I came down here, or, well, I turned the power off and then came down here and safely disconnected everything. Then I got my, my little tester stick, turned the power back on and figured out which one of these was hot. Just put it over this and it beeped. Over this one, it didn't beep, right? So I know this is hot and this is load. I am not an electrician. Hire an electrician. Don't take my advice. I'm just showing you what I'm doing, okay? You can you can kill yourself doing messing with this stuff. So be safe, everyone. Safety first. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna hook this up. I'm not gonna put a tripod out here. I'm gonna hook it up and then I'm gonna show you. And uh, look at that. Then we can set all kinds of, we can do all kinds of programming. We can do a manual override. Uh, you, I'm not. I'm not trying to sell any brand, but you can look for these or some something comparable. I like this because it's got these little buttons that don't come off. Right? You just pop them out and they stay in place. They don't. You know, like the old ones, you just had to. You were always chasing these little buttons around. This one is kind of self-explanatory, but I'm going to set it so that my, you know, my lights come on early in the winter and go off around 10 or 11 o'clock at night. Okay, so let's get this hooked up. Okay, let's take a look at the protective cover that I've chosen to put over this. It's a box that comes with a, uh, like it's got an insulator pad on the back side. Again, all straight, pretty straightforward. 
it has a pin and you have the option to you use this as a side open or a top open, okay? All depending on where you place the pin. If you want it to open at the top, you make that your hinge, right? If you want to open it on the side, you swing this around and this becomes your hinge. And then you line this up here and you simply slide your pin through and that's your hinge. So we're gonna do that. Not so fast. Now I've got to cut this box out because it does not fit the back side of that. That's a little too big, so I'm going to cut this out to fit in there. to have a Dremel kit. Essential for doing stuff for tweaking things just like this. Basically I melted the hole into a bigger shape. But that's okay, you'll never see it. Now what do we have here? A fit! Okay. We are wired and the the uh, breaker is turned back on. Now let us test it. Ah, excellent. Okay, so we know that it is functioning. Now we just uh, put everything back together and set the timer. Wunderbar. So, a quick note um, this, uh, as you saw, I cut it out to fit through there. Uh, one problem, I had a couple of problems. One problem was that this was recessed so far that it made it difficult to set the, the timer. Uh, so, and the other problem was, of course, housing all the wires back there. And the body of this. There's not a lot of room. I could do it, but I opted to leave this free floating so I could get to it very easily and set these things if it's way back in there again that's more difficult now this may, this is not optim optimal you can configure this you can put a bracket in here that you can then screw to so that this is immobilized and no fingers can get back there i know that i'm not going to get my fingers all the way back in this back cavity where the wires are and there are no wire connectors on either side of this so i'm safe but my recommendation to you would be to augment this or add a, a, a metal strip. You can you can figure something out. Uh, you could even do some sort of long screw and carefully screw into the body of this. <clears throat> At any rate, this is perfect for me. This is fine. I've got it set. All these pushed in pins are gonna be my on zone. Well, the pulled out pins are going to be my off time. So it's going to come on at uh, 5 when this hits the switch there. And it's going to hit the switch again at 1030. It's going to trigger that switch and turn off. And it, I've tried it. works perfectly. Okay. And there you go. We're all set. And it's protected from the weather. So I have essentially made an indoor apparatus and outdoor apparatus. Remember that these videos are brought to you by Banshee Moon Coffee. You can find our fresh roasted coffee on Etsy.com slash shop slash Banshee Moon. It's roasted fresh daily in-house. Check out Banshee Moon Coffee. Thanks for watching everyone.